Metals are an integral part of modern life. However, this has not always been the case. As the global population has rapidly increased, the demand for metal production and in-use stock has grown exponentially. Consequently, metal production now accounts for around 10% of global greenhouse gas emissions. The metal supply chain needs to be made more sustainable to help us keep global temperature rise between 1.5 and 2 degrees Celsius this century. So, what can we do for metal production, use and waste to help us achieve these climate goals? An international research group consisting of experts from Japan, Australia and Germany has modelled a variety of scenarios for our future metal usage. Their study covered global historic use of the six major metals, which account for 98% by mass of all metal production. They projected how demand for these metals will look over the next 80 years and used this data to set science-based targets that will help us use these precious resources sustainably. Looking at the metal industry, they modeled the use of technology to make energy efficiency improvements and use renewable energy for low-carbon production processes. Another strategy for both industry and the public is better implementation of a circular economy where metal products are reused or repurposed. However, even when deployed ambitiously, strategies like low-carbon metal production and recycling are not enough. More needs to be done at every stage of metals life cycle to improve sustainability. To effectively combat climate change, a dramatic systemic change is required, or society's demand for metal will only continue to increase. Currently, high-income countries use about 12 tonnes of metal per person in the form of buildings, cars, consumer products and infrastructure, whereas the global average is about 4 tonnes per person. To meet the emission reduction target in the metal sector, our needs must be met with approximately 7 tonnes per person of metal stock, roughly half the current level in high-income countries. To achieve this, we need a larger transformational shift in our usage and fundamental reliance on metal so that demand can be stabilized and eventually reduced. These factors are often overlooked in large-scale climate studies and decisions. To ensure the metal sector is encouraged to meet the Paris Agreement targets, the metal industry must be better represented in climate policy. By including the metal sector in climate change conversations, we work together to build a better future, where we live happily and more sustainably with less metal.